Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edwin Vasquez, I also go by IDV, and today I'm going to share with you my full dividend portfolio. I started this portfolio about six months ago on M1 Finance and been putting in $100 every other week. Uh, in this upcoming year, I plan to increase that to weekly. So, let's jump into the portfolio. Jumping into my portfolio, you can see I started this at the beginning of June, and during that time, I've gotten a gain of 125 and a return of about 13%. Scroll down here, see all of my slices are by sector. And if you're not familiar with M1 Finance, one of the things I like about them is that each slice you can set to a particular percentage. And then when you make a contribution, M1 Finance will distribute your funds based on that percentage. Starting with technology, I have that set at 22%. Healthcare at 18, Consumer Cynical at 12, Consumer Defensive at 12, Real Estate at 12, Financials at 8, Industrial at 8, Communications at 4, and Utils Energy at 4. In my technology uh, sector, I have Broadcom, Qualcomm, Cisco, and Intel. In my healthcare, I have Johnson Johnson, Abby, and Pfizer. Consumer Cynical, I have Best Buy and Lowe's. Consumer Defensive, I have Pepsi and Target. Real Estate, I have AGNC Industrial, Stag and real estate income. In financials, I have Bank of America and JP Morgan. In industrial, I have Caterpillar, 3M, and Lockheed Martin. Communications, I only have Verizon. Tells Energy, I have Duke and Nextra. Over my holdings tab, I can see all the stocks in my portfolio at once, and I also ordered them by top gain. So let's see what my top five were. I have Qualcomm at plus 42, Lowe's at plus 22.50, Pfizer at plus 10.50, Broadcom at plus 19, almost 20, and Bank of America at plus 9. And let's see what my top losses were. We have Intel at negative three, Verizon neg almost negative eight, 3M negative two, Johnson Johnson's negative six, and Lockheed Martin neg almost negative one and a half. Yeah, negative one and a half. Now I want to switch to uh, track your dividends so we can see what I've received so far annually and then also see a forecast for December of what dividends I will receive. And over in Track Your Dividends, uh, here at the top you can see my for this portfolio my yield is 2.9% and the annual income so far is 50. Now this is a smaller portfolio so far. Uh, within the next couple of months I'm going to do more contributions so it should be growing. And scrolling down, we can see the top five stocks that give me uh, the largest uh, dividend so far, which is AGNC Investments at $6.27, uh, Verizon $4.5, uh, Avni at $4.39, Johnson Johnson $3.90, and Broadcom at $3.77. And next, I want to go to the upcoming dividends tab so we can see what uh, dividends I'll receive in December. And being the fourth quarter, it should be a large chunk of them. Scrolling down here, I'm going to scroll straight to the calendar. You see under December, we have uh, AGNC, uh, I'm going to get Broadcom, uh, Bank of America. Duke Energy, Intel, Johnson Johnson, Lockheed Martin, uh, that one's 3M, 
going to have next next era energy realty income uh, Pfizer uh, Qualcomm stag target so it'll be about six dollars uh, next month that's my full dividend portfolio and if you're interested in seeing uh, my updates for my dividend portfolio and other uh, videos of mine definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification with that, I'll catch you in my next video.